Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do page four in my snack bag book. And the prompt for today's page is colors. I thought that would be a lot of fun um, to just load up our page with colors. So I'm going to slide this page out. We're working on this side here. All right, so I'm going to actually put a little piece of wax paper inside my uh, bag just to protect the inside of the bag. I don't want to get anything on there that would cause the, uh, the opening to stick together or anything. So just kind of give it a little protection there. All right, so I tried out something. I had this crazy idea uh, the other day, and I tried out something that worked out kind of fun. So I wanted to do it on my page today and show you guys. Now, just like always, you guys don't have to do what I'm doing. You can do anything you want. It's your book. Uh, but if you want to do uh, to try this fun idea, I think it'd be great, and I think you'll be pleased with the outcome. So I've got this colorful <laughs> piece of tissue paper here, and um, I'm going to glue it down to my bag, and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me tear out a little piece here, and um, make sure I've got enough to cover my page. All right. All right, I'm going to use a glue stick. I have a little piece of uh, a brown bag scrap that I'm going to just cut or actually punch out a, uh, a half circle so that I can cover this little area right here where the um, tissue paper is very weak because of the, uh, the cutout in the bag. So I'm just going to put a little uh, glue stick on that as well and stick it down. So now it's covered and you don't even know it's there. <laughs> so that's just going to give that a little bit more support on that side. Okay, so I'm going to trim that just a little bit. It's kind of kind of wonky there. There we go. Of course, these paper bags are wonky anyway, so I don't mind it really. All right, very good. Okay, now, one thing I wish I had done, and I might still do this, you guys, because I wasn't thinking about the brown paper bag being underneath this tissue, and I really would prefer these colors to be brighter, uh, and they look a little dull because they're, uh, we're seeing the brown paper through the um, tissue paper. So I'm going to do this again, and I'm just going to glue the tissue paper onto a white piece of paper and then put that on top of this because I just really don't like that being dingy looking. Not for the, uh, I, I wouldn't mind it in general, but because we're doing a page that's colorful, uh, we just want to make sure that, I want to make sure that it's nice and bright. So that's what I think I'm going to do.
Okay, so if you look at the two of these, you can see what I was talking about. You see how much more vibrant the colors are on the white? And that's exactly what I wanted it to look like, more bright, vibrant colors. Now, the reason I was putting the little pieces in where there was this particular piece of the tissue paper had a lot of white space. I mean, this had some too, but this had seemed like it had more. But I just filled in some of those spaces with some of the scraps. You saw that, just to add some more little bits of color throughout. And you'll see why in just a few minutes. But um, and now I'm going to uh, go ahead and trim this out. And Oh, and I... I did it on a piece of white um, label paper. So now when I once I get it the way I want it, get it trimmed or whatever, then I can just peel it and stick it into my book. Okay, so now it looks a lot more like I was hoping it would look. <laughs> All right, and it has more colors in the white bits. Now, if you don't have any colored tissue paper and you want to do this technique, all you got to do is, you know, maybe put some gesso on your brown bag or white paint and let that dry and then take some different colored paints and just brush some little areas of color, just like what, I mean, that tissue paper is made that way. I mean, somebody just painted with a brush and then they printed out a bunch of sheets of it so um, you can definitely do that if you want to try this um, do this fun technique now I've done this technique before this was uh, one of the original morsels that I had done way back in 2016 but um, this just has a little twist on it is all and um, I think it's fun so okay so now what I'm gonna do is crackle I'm gonna crackle it and I'm going to put uh, an off-white color paint over it. And um, then when the, crack, when the crackles happen, we're going to see all this pretty color underneath. You know, typically when we do a crackle, we have like one solid color paint. And then we put the glue on and one solid color paint on top of that. And so you see one color in all the crackles. But this way, we're going to see multiple colors. And so it's going to just be fun, I think. So, uh, the first thing I need to put down is the crackle medium. Uh, if you don't have this, you can also use white glue and it will work too. Okay, so I'm gonna put my little piece of foil, I mean, uh, wax paper back in. Okay. Just for a little bit of protection from a bag there. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little craft mat down too because I don't want to get glue everywhere. Well, try that again. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna put a little of this on the page and then I'm gonna brush it, brush it out and have a nice, um, just a nice layer of the glue. It's not, not real, real heavy, not real, real thin. Okay. A little bit more down here. And I'm going to let this sit for just a minute and, uh, and dry just a bit until it's just tacky. Okay, so it's a little tacky now. It's just, you know, it's not, it's still damp, you know, but it's not, uh, it's not as wet as it was when I first put it down. And it's been about two minutes. And now I'm just mixing a little white into my cream color here just to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to drag the paint down the page. Okay. Not going back and forth, just over the top of it, just um, 
just one pass, hopefully, to uh, create what we want here. Put a little more up here. Okay, a little more down here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to leave it. As much as you want to go back and forth, back and forth over it, don't. <laughs> because it will, um, it will interfere with the glue uh, action that's going on down there. Now I'm going to check my page back here, make sure I don't have... I do have a little tiny bit of paint there. I'm going to just wipe that off. Okay, I did good. Yay! Alright, so I'm going to leave that to uh, do its thing. Move this out of the way. Looks really cool, and you can see so many colors uh, coming through there, and that's why I wanted to add the extra bits. Uh, if there was a lot of white in the background, I was not going to be able to see color coming through the cracks in those areas, so I wanted to, you know, fill it in and put as much color as possible in there. So uh, remember in uh, the last video about the snack bag books, I created these tags, and since I did that video, I added um, some little tabs onto the tags. This is fabric that I um, just cut and folded over, and it was a really, really thin fabric, so I just uh, coated it with some matte medium and dried it, and it's nice and sturdy now. It's kind of like, almost like paper. <laughs> so if you have thin fabrics that you want to use, that's what you can put on it. This is what I uh, did to the back. I put a jelly print down and then a little a little picture from a magazine that I had in my um, little box of scraps and images and it matched so perfectly so I thought I have to put that on there and I'm gonna put some words on there too and on uh, this one is just a little uh, jelly print uh, paper tab and uh, it was, I uh, believe it was a magazine page, and so I did put it on a little piece of cardstock too, just to strengthen it, you know, a little bit so it wouldn't tear uh, very readily. And I put a jelly print on the back of that tag uh, before I attached the little tab. So I'm gonna put something on the back of both of these. So you can see how simple this is three things, a jelly print or a painted paper, an image, and words. So it makes it really simple to just finish it off and be done. I add, uh, inked around the edge and then of course put the little uh, tab on there. So that will go in my book. And on this one, um, I was trying to think of what I wanted to put in here. and. Uh, I mean, excuse me, on here, and I was looking through my scraps, and I found this little uh, vase, little jar of uh, flowers that I had just sketched out real quickly one day and watercolored. It is a mess. I did not stay in the lines. <laughs> I made a big mess out of those flowers because I was just playing around. I liked the color combo of the, the, you know, the colors I used in the flowers and everything, and I thought, well, I'll just save it. You never know. And sure enough, I thought, it goes great sitting right on top of this green tag. So I'm going to use it <laughs> because why not, right? So I'm going to put a little glue stick on the back of that. And this was just plain old uh, printer paper too. I mean, it, it buckled and wrinkled and stuff when I put the water on it. But um, I knew it was going to just, I was just going to use it. If I did use it, it would be just for something simple like this little project here. It's perfect. And that way I can keep that little reminder of how much fun it is just to sit and sketch something out with a pen. I didn't even use a pencil. I was just, I was really just doodling and playing with a pen. And um, it ended up, I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. Let me see what it'll look like if I color it, you know. So you just never know when you sit down to just piddle around and play. You might really, you know, come up with something that you really like and that you would want to uh, use in a project or at least keep it so that you can repeat it like say in your art journal or something, you know. But that just flattened out real nicely. It's not wrinkly anymore. And I just think that is so cute on there. So now I've got some, um, I had picked out some words in this uh, Tim Holtz small talk book. I gotta remember which ones it was. 
<laughs> which one it was that I liked. Uh, oh, I think it was this one. Start doing things you love. I like that. We should all be doing things we love. Okay, so I'm going to cut this apart and um, just snip it up and kind of put the words down the side here. we go. I think that's just adorable. And when that dries, when the glue dries real good, I'll go around those words. And then the last thing, um, when I was creating this one and I was going through my scrap box um, where I had my images and things, I found um, packaging from some stamps I had bought. And I was like, that is so perfect. I mean, that's really cool. So I'm going to stick an extra tag in the pocket with this one because it matches so well. So what I'm going to do is just attach it to uh, just a little piece of white cardstock. And um, I literally just peeled this layer off of the, uh, the thicker packaging and um, decided to use it in something. I wasn't sure what at the time, but now I'm sure. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is um, put some words on there as well. And this time I'm using, um, not this one, but this one. This one is the big chat, so these words are bigger. But I'm going to use the word B. Oh, scraps in my scissors here. B and positive. Positive. Okay. Yeah. Trim that a little bit. Put that one here. Yeah, that's cute doesn't take much to make something fun. I love it. Actually, I think I'm going to um, ink these before I put them down because sometimes when you try to write around these on something slick like the washi tape, it doesn't always work like you want it to. <laughs> I just marked my hand. Hey, good time to show you a quick tip too about that. Let me get this inked up real quick. Just running the marker along the edge here. Okay. And this one. When you get permanent ink on you, so hard to get off, but if you keep some hand sanitizer nearby, you can get it off very easily, actually. Um, it, it's easiest to do it when it's fresh, you know, when it's recently wet, um, but it comes right off. So, I mean, alcohol pretty much does the same thing, but hand sanitizer is just so easy to use, having the little pump on them and everything. So, 
if you get permanent ink on you, like stays on or archival ink or like from this permanent marker, the Faber Castell uh, pit pens are permanent. That's, I mean, there's a tiny little remnant there, but just you can barely see it and it'll easily wash off. That's very sweet. And just scraps of, you know, scrapbook paper scraps, washi tape, you know, and just doesn't take much. Okay, and I have a piece of ribbon too that I picked um, pick, picked a piece out that has some orange and um, pink in it. I thought I would just staple it to the top. Now back to our book. Okay, so I left this to dry for quite a while and it's um, it's turned out really well. I love all the color that's uh, showing through there. And while it was drying, I punched out some little flowers and freehand cut some stems and leaves uh, from some papers like this. They're uh, glossy labels that I had um, use some alcohol inks on. And the flowers are cut from those and so are the stems and the leaves. So I'm gonna arrange those on the, uh, on the page and um, get those stuck down and um, maybe put some words or something on the page and then I think we'll be done.
Okay, so there we have it. I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, I love the fact that the flowers are kind of glossy, so they stand out really good from the uh, from the rest of the page. There we go. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. And um, I had done a, a, a little white line with the with the heavier line, and I didn't like it because I couldn't see it too well. So I went over it with a smaller uh, sharpie marker and kind of left a little, a little of it showing. So it looks kind of cool now. You can see a little of the white and a little of the black. And I like that. And then I made the, the first le uh, letters in each word a little bit heavier, just so that they would kind of stand out a little bit more. But all in all, I just really like this. I think it's so fun and it is so colorful. And um, I had a really good time. So I hope you guys enjoy making whatever you decide to create for your a snack bag book uh, for this month and um, I need to go ahead and put my tags back in so that they're in place um, let's see let's see my book I need to put my book together first there we go all right so the first page has uh, this little tag and here we go. So there's one with a little tab sticking up. I like that. And then um, this one's going to go in here. Make sure it goes this way. I have to strategically place my tabs because, um, like, I started out with this one in the middle of that tag. But uh, then when you put the elastic band around, I don't want one right in the middle because then it just kind of mushes that down. This way they kind of stick out a little and you can see them and enjoy that they're there. And, and there will be more as we fill up the book um, even more. So let's see how this one's going to work in there. I didn't measure to see how long this was. I hope it's going to be okay. Well, it sticks out just a bit, but it's not bad. I, don't know, I might trim that tag down just a little bit because it does kind of, it does kind of interfere with the book there. Okay, I got it trimmed at the bottom, and I'm gonna turn around the corners again, hopefully. <laughs> okay, and once more, there we go. All right, so now it should go in there just right. Very cute. And then the ribbon, I mean the elastic can come around. So there we go, guys. That's uh, Snack Bag Book page four. So make sure you uh, post yours in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group so I can see what you're doing. I'm anxious to see what everybody's page looks like. So uh, have fun with it and take care, guys. We'll see you again soon. Thanks so much and bye-bye.